I'm gonna be showing you how you can create a super fire visualizer just like this super easily inside of After Effects. Now you can put these inside of music videos just like I did in this case, or you could sell these to artists as visualizers or lyric videos or anything along the lines of that. So as we can see here inside of Premiere Pro, we have the visualizer right here. Now I just have a little transform on it that zooms in over time just to add it some motion. You guys can see we have three iPhone 4s. One of them is flipped backwards with a crack on it. We have a PlayStation controller and then a sticker, uh, which is the artist's favorite skater. And then like a wood table in the background. If we go ahead and turn on all of these color grades, it looks way crazier and works well with the video and the videos color grading. So I did all of this inside of After Effects, no blender and nothing like that. This is actually the project file here. I went ahead and opened it so I could show you guys everything. But to be completely honest with you, it is not loading for some reason. So I'm just gonna be recreating it all over again. Let's go ahead and close that out and open a brand new composition inside of After Effects. Now, pretty much all of this I did built inside of After Effects with zero plugins. And then I added a couple things with plugins that you pretty much can do without plugins. So we'll get into that. So let's go and create a new project here under the comp position. Let's create a new one. Uh, just to make this easier, let's do 1920 by 1080. I did mine in 4K, but this is going to make it load a lot faster for the sake of the tutorial. So what I went ahead and did at first to get that table background is I went onto a website called Sketchfab and boom, as you guys can see, immediately we have the iPhone 4 model that I used here. Pretty much all I did was I went and hit download 3D model and then I made sure it was GLB because those are the only files that you can drag and drop inside of After Effects. And I also went and found like a wooden table. And the key is when you're searching on this website, you want to make sure you have downloadable checked because people will upload stuff here just to be seen. So let's say we could click on this wooden table here. You can then go ahead and move it around. And when you hit download, you want to make sure it has a GLB, which it has here. So once you have your file is downloaded, like I have here, the iPhone 4 and the wooden table, all I'm going to do is drag them inside of After Effects here. Hit OK and OK again. And as you guys can see, they'll be inside of here. They look kind of weird. You can resize them by clicking here, going to transform. And then I recommend going to the very last one here in position, which is the Z space. And you want to put it further into the background just by doing that. And we'll turn this one off here and we'll focus on the wooden table, which I remember being a little bit harder to actually find here. We're basically on a mission right now to find the table. So we found it. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to mess with this Z space until we get it. Boom. Keep on going. Let's try 200,000. There's most definitely an easier way to do this, but I recommend doing whatever's comfortable with your workflow. So basically what I did is I went ahead and moved the table just like so. And then I added a little bit of a rotation to it just to give it a little bit of depth. And then if we go ahead and turn the phone back on, you guys could see here looks pretty cool. So we're going to duplicate the phone two times just by pressing control D while it's clicked on. And then we're going to go on to the original one, we'll turn the other ones off for now. And we're going to go ahead and flip it just like this. And then you could also play with the rotation there. Now I'm going to be showing you guys in a little bit how I got the crack on it. It was actually pretty simple, a lot easier than I thought it would be. So let's go ahead and grab the other ones here and place them as we want them. Turn this one on, place it here. And then you can go ahead and play with the scale of everything until you get it to your liking. You can also click on it just like I did here and play with it that way. Boom, now we have our phones and everything inside of the scene. Now to get that cracked look like I was talking about, I downloaded just this cracked like overlay here with that has like a black background. And all I did was I dragged it into the scene, hit okay. And once it was in here, what I did is I took the middle phone. Actually, no, I didn't even do that. Actually, I right clicked on the phone that was backwards here. I went over and I pre-composed it and then I brought the cracked background inside of the pre-comp just like so and if you don't see the option for blooding modes just hit toggle switch the modes here and we'll change the mode to a screen as you guys can see it goes on top there and then just opening up the transform tab here what we could do is we can rotate it and then scale it up and as you guys can see it looks a little bit dumb because it goes around but we can fix that by going inside of here making a track mat on the phone and setting it to the iPhone there and then turning the iPhone back on as you guys can see it fits on top of it perfectly just like so and if you feel like this phone is a little bit brighter what you can actually do is go on here and turn the opacity down just a little bit and it looks a lot more natural and cracked with the actual phone itself so what I did to get the screen and videos playing on them it's kind of like a DIY method I wouldn't recommend doing it this way if you could actually uh do it legit I would do it legit but pretty much what I did here is I created a new solid just like so I hit okay and I brought that below all the phones now what I did next is I went over to the pen tool here on top of the solid and to be completely honest with you guys I just kind of eyeballed how this would look here and then bringing it down and just pressing Control z and just redoing it until I think it looked good I think if you hold shift you could then move it around 
So just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm gonna go with that. And then once you had it cut it out, I brought it on top and then you could readjust them just by clicking and dragging. So that looks pretty decent there, guys. If you go to our regular tool, you can move it around and get it a lot more to your liking. All right, that's not bad there. And what you could do is just hit duplicate and bring it over to this one here and then just readjust obviously there we go not bad so then what i'll do for these ones here is i'll right click go over to pre-compose but we want to leave all the attributes in comp one so hit okay and then you want to take like a piece of footage anything like that let's go ahead and just take this test footage here from the music video and put that inside of there now if we go inside of the comp you guys could see the footage is inside of there and you basically just want to scale it down and see i think that one was over there just like that so if we go into the comp maybe it's actually over here boom we have it just like that and just move it around until you get it covered and boom, we have the entire video inside of there. And you can do the exact same thing just by pre-composing this one here. The exact same thing. We'll take the same video, paste it, and then we'll bring it to like a different point. And boom, we have that there. And if you're wondering, like, why does the lighting look so lost? Why doesn't it look good? Um, what I recommend you guys do is go and create a new and then go to light here. I like going with this color here, but you can customize all of it inside. So it looks kind of dumb. If you go into light options here, you can really play with the intensity. Let's say we make it like a point light here. I want to play with the color and make it a lot less warm boom that instantly completely changes the image there guys looks great going to the transform here and honestly just like moving the light around and playing with the different methods here so if we do ambient get a little bit of a, a different look there environment not my favorite parallel spot and then turn it up and then like i was just telling you guys i don't know why it's it's acting strange here now you could then play around with how far away you want it and the intensity there so what i recommend doing now is on the phones themselves you kind of already have these ones pre-composed once the 3d object is pre-composed we could then put a drop shadow on it and then i recommend turning up the softness here and you guys can see we kind of get like a little bit of a shadow and then if you want to see how it looks with the, only the shadow, you can turn this off here and turn it on and off and then adjust accordingly and then i recommend doing this with the other two phones all you have to do is right click pre-compose them the lighting won't be able to apply to them so well. Actually, what, what I totally forgot to do is just turn the 3D on for all of these so the lighting will apply properly. As you guys can see here, it looks a lot different now that the lighting's applied. Then we can go back in here and turn the opacity back up on this. If we go back into this comp as well, we can create an adjustment layer on top of everything. Add lumetri color. Use the correction. We can turn the exposure up a little bit. And then hopping back in here, we could see we got more of a crack. And boom, just like that, guys. If you want to add a couple other things, the sticker that I had earlier was pretty much only a PNG that I put in the background here. So if we go ahead and scale that down, put that behind everything, we can have it like there or something. All I did was put a Lumetri color on it. And then I just colored it according to match everything and like fill it with the background, as you guys can see there. Put a drop shadow on it. And then once you overall have everything and you want to match to the footage and the lot that you have, uh, like I did earlier, just create a new adjustment layer, add a lumetri color to that. And then uh, to match it to like flat footage, what I like to do is just turn the contrast all the way down, turn the shadows up a little bit, just like so, and then get rid of some saturation. And then when you take something like this and you put it inside of uh, Premiere Pro, you guys can see it's very similar to like the colors we have here. And then once you add color to it, it looks super great. Now to get like this glowing look here, I used a plugin called Deep Glow and all I did was just go inside of the pre-comp and apply it onto like the video here. And yeah, guys, that's a super simple way that you guys can make visualizers inside of After Effects using 3D super easily. You guys could see I really took it to the next level just by playing around with it a lot more and playing with some zoom and stuff inside of Premiere and adding like a nice color grade to it. Hopefully you guys can take some stuff you already know and apply this to it and create some crazy stuff. I'd love to see what you guys create. You guys can send them in my Discord. I appreciate you guys for watching this video. If you want to watch more videos just like this, subscribe to the channel. It means so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.